it is that time of day, that time of week. We're on another hike today. I think what we're doing is pretty cool. I'm currently walking along these the escarpment, the little mountain we got here around here. Actually, kind of cool. Like, look how high these rocks are. So um, today we're doing some waterfall hopping. And what I mean by waterfall hopping, if you don't know what that means, it's kind of like saying I'm going island hopping, meaning like I'm going to multiple different islands. But I'm going to multiple different waterfalls today because where I'm around, where I'm from, we got a lot of waterfalls. So I take advantage of that and I do these insane, ridiculous hikes. So I'm going to one waterfall on this trail, then the next trail I'm going to has multiple different waterfalls, and we're gonna be checking all that out today. It's gonna to be really fun. Nobody told me about the mud here today. Oh man. This trail is looking pretty promising. Check out all these cool rocks. Things are starting to get serious. Check out these cliffs. Almost at the first waterfall. It's actually closer than I realized. So this trail is about three or four K, I think. So just the one waterfall. Other than that, just kind of enjoying the views. A lot of cliffs here, a lot of different elevation gang gains. And uh, it's really, really nice here. Much needed hike. You know, sometimes it's good to just get out here by yourself and just enjoy the things around you. Enjoying it today. Pretty cool around here. So with this waterfall, I can make my way down here. Just down there. I'm gonna stand right in front of the waterfall and just hang out for a little bit. It's a little busy here, not, not the crowd I would have wanted, but it's all good. We're all here to enjoy the same thing. So I'm honestly, I'm gonna sit down on these mossy rocks and just enjoy the view for a bit and then I'll finish up this hike. I love moss, moss feels so cool. We got a little mini waterfall here. So there's the big one and then there's this little one. I would be getting better shots right now, but there's this family here and they've been here for like 20 minutes and I'm just kind of waiting for them to leave so that I can get some better shots here for all of you. So I'm here a little longer than I want it to be, but I think it'll be worth it in the end. I will say like the hillsides here and all these cool little mountains are really nice. We've got two waterfalls in front of me. I think they're about to leave. If they don't, I'm just gonna have to suck it up and get in the way of them. So I'm, I just wanna put my, I got a tripod back here. I just wanna put that up and just enjoy the vibe for a minute. Really nothing crazy. And then I got another three kilometers on this trail. So it's really nothing bad today. But I'm doing another trail, so maybe it will be bad. We'll see. Okay, now we're talking good views. I'm currently like in a little cave right now. Look at this. A little under cave. Above me is rock. Next to me is waterfall. And the vibes are great. Finally got a good shot going under the cave. But I'm going to try and move out of the way. So there's the waterfall right there. I'm currently on the side of it within this cave. You know, grabbing icicles and... Throwing them, in, throwing them in the water, just enjoying the vibe. The family finally left. Um, they were there a surprisingly long time, so I was just kind of waiting around so I could get over here and get a good shot. So now that I'm in front of the waterfall, I'm just in caves. The vibes are immaculate right now. And um, yeah, so this is really all I wanted to do. You know, I just wanted to just sit here, enjoy the waterfall. I'm kind of blocking the way, so I'll try not to. But here we got the waterfall, really good vibes. Um, not much else I got to say. Uh, yeah, so after this, just gonna continue on my hike. Uh, this stuff is gonna be crazy coming up after this, but I'll still film some cool things if I spot them, and I'll keep you guys all updated. All right, we got that over with. I had a little bit of technical difficulties with my tripod. It's all fixed now. The tripod's not fixed, I think it broke, but uh, it's all good, I'm getting a new one soon. This one is not treating me well.
these little rocks poking out of the mountains are really cool. There's so much moss here. And if you remember me saying in my last video, moss is underrated. We need to appreciate this green stuff because it stays in the winter, unlike everything else here. This, guys, is what the mythical world looks like. All this moss, it's so cool. Check this out. It's like this rock just on its own, separated by this. I feel like I'm in the middle of like some tectonic plate moving right now. It's hard to see on camera, but if you can imagine it, you can see it. This rock kind of looks like a bird's head. And then that line right there looks like its beak. This is super cool. Like, look at this. So I'm on the middle of that rock I just pointed out. And it just keeps going. So I'm on the edge of this little mountain cliff right now. Will I be able to make it? <sighs> Did it. Too easy. Do you guys think if I push this rock hard enough, it'll fall over? <laughs> Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, it looks like it's ready to fall over. Having a good moment right now. I can I can see some people, but I feel pretty alone in the wilderness right now. So I guess I'm not that alone, but just, you know, surrounded by trees only. And the vibes here are great. Seeing a lot of cool, fun cliffs. That waterfall was nice. I see a huge tree stump. Oh my god. Um, just a... Uh, Almost done this hike, and then I'm going to make my way to my second hike. My cousin is here today. He'll be coming on the second one. He did not come on this one. He's going to get something to eat. So I'm um, just soloing this one, but the next one I will have some company. Just taking a little break on this tree log. I will say this hike is really nice. Walking right along those hills and seeing all those super cool mossy rocks. Just taking a second, taking a little break, just taking it in. You know, life goes by pretty fast, especially when you're constantly doing things. Like, you know, I go to school six hours a day, every day. I'm also a swimmer. I'm in the pool all the time. So when you're doing as much as I do, this is really helpful for your mental health. You know, I like to get out here sometimes just by myself and just kind of forget about what I do. And um, just, in take, just take it all in. It's really nice. Yeah, so... I don't take these for granted. I, every hike I go on, I take it as a privilege. You know, shout out to my parents for allowing me to take the vehicle out when I do these and providing me with some equipment that I need, you know. It's not coming out of my pocket most of the time. It's coming out of theirs. So um, when, I'm, when I'm out here, I'm really, I'm really grateful, really thankful. And um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this hike now. Got about another kilometer left, so nothing crazy. Gonna get to that second hike, it's gonna be a lot better than this one, I think. It could be busier, we'll see. There's three waterfalls there, three big, good waterfalls. I'm really looking forward to it. So, I'm um, gonna wrap this hike up now, and then we'll get to the real good stuff. All right, we've made our way to the second waterfall. This one is big, but it's also busy. And also, Tommy is here now. It's my cousin from my last video. Got the waterfall there, and this cliff rock is pretty serious. Look at that. This is a big one. Oh man. We got the, some creek sides next year. Big, big waterfall. This waterfall is so aggressive, we can actually feel the water drops hitting us. There's like two layers to this waterfall. There's the first one, and then there's a little bit of a break, and then there's a second one. Making my way up, we got Tom down there. Waterfall right here. And next to me, we got some crazy old big looking icicles. The landscape here is pretty wild. Big, huge cliff giant waterfall now this is what I'm talking about right in front of the waterfall now I actually cannot believe how fast the water is going down it is zooming look at that and then right coming right at me my boots are here and it comes down a second time and goes down the creek.
Okay, so we had a bit of a fail there. Um, the tripod just broke. Basically what happened was, and I'll include it in the video. The tripod fell over when I was standing up there. <laughs> and um, got a little, we had a little bit of problems there, but we're fine now. Now we're just gonna find a way to get over here so that we can continue this crazy hike, cause um, we're not done yet. So many mossy rocks here, it's, it's kind of crazy. It, it reminds me of those like, I don't remember what they're called, but um, the the rock living things from the Frozen movie. Those like mythical creatures, that's what these rocks remind me of. I found the world's smallest waterfall right here. That water running right there is the waterfall. It's the best waterfall I've ever seen. I'm gonna say, this is definitely not the most pleasurable part of this hike at all. It's pretty much all mud here and uh, the trail's pretty thin, but we are gonna make it. So we're on our way. I believe we're going to like two more waterfalls. So I, th I still think it'll all be worth it in the end. I am in the second section of this trail after kind of making it through an extremely rough, muddy patch. But now we're on our way to the last waterfall. I don't know why, but one of my favorite things when I go hiking is these types of platforms that like cross water or something. I don't know why, I've just kind of always really liked them. I like the vibe on them was always really good and I like the, I don't know, I'm weird, maybe. <laughs> There's a second one coming up, so I'll meet you there. Around here is starting to look really cool. You know, we got a really nice creek and then get a load of this, look at this. getting a little windy. I'm feeling, it feels like fallish right now, even though it's the middle of February. As you can see, I'm only wearing a sweater. It's not that cold outside, but the vibes are immaculate. Beautiful creek right here. So cool, man. Oh man, look at, like, the way these rocks are. Once again, I said this in a previous video, I had no idea any of this was in my city, you know? Like, I feel like I'm not even in Ontario anymore. I feel like I'm in, out in British Columbia right now. Coming up on the waterfall. I'm gonna try to get, to get the best shots that I can, but this is the most densely populated waterfall I've been to yet, but it's a beautiful. It's really busy here, as you can see, but there it is. Also, this rock right here is really cool. So I'm not gonna stay here too long, a little too busy for what I like, but we're still enjoying it. Made it a bit closer. I'm in the fall so close because the waterfall is so loud. Dying down a little bit, not as many people here. It's a little loud though. I'm talking people wise, obviously the waterfall is loud. But yeah. I'm getting a little soaked by the waterfall now because I am right next to it. It's, it's just huge. I'm glad that we finished off with this waterfall. I think we really did save the best for last. I'm gonna make my way back now, but I cannot be filming to do it, it's too complicated. So um, I'll get one good view. There's a, there is a viewing platform here, but I, I didn't use it because I wanted to get right up on it. But I'll go to that now. 
And um, this waterfall, this is probably the nicest waterfall I've ever seen. It's, it's insane, especially with these um, these rocks over here and these big giant icicles, as you can see, I'm next to some. Um, so yeah, awesome here. The waterfall's really flying down and the trees up here just make it look even better. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little bit farther back now, start making my way back and get some better views from the platform. I'm getting splashed now. That was a good one. All right, I don't want to get too wet. <laughs> Making my way back now, back to the truck. That was the best waterfall that I've seen yet. And you know, I'm kind of expanding my knowledge of the waterfalls near me because I do live in the waterfall capital of the world, so you gotta see the waterfalls if you live near them. So, that was awesome, just making my way back now. That, I gotta go back to that in the spring. I could sit there all day and enjoy that. I'm nearing the end of this hike. Just ran into a random couple. I don't know them, but we just started talking about waterfalls. They were telling me some cool things. And that's what I like about doing this when you, see, when you meet people out here is a lot of people that do these crazy things that I do, they're a, lo a lot of times they're good vibes and they're fun people to talk to. So even though I only talked to them for like a minute and a half, you know, I think we got a lot out of that conversation. You know, that's what I like to do out here. You know, if I'm not by myself, it's always fun to have someone with good nature as well to talk to. So, um, you know, that's something that keeps me going when I'm out here. You know, whether I'm hiking with somebody, someone fun to talk to, or I'm by myself and I'm just chilling, or what just happened to me and you just run into somebody and you just start talking, it's always good. I'm almost at the end of this hike, walking through the mossy rocks again. <sighs> I'm pretty tired, that was Probably the most intense hike I've done in a while. Um, got about 7K in, so not too bad. Elevation gain, probably like 200 meters in total. So did quite a bit of hiking. So my legs are tired and I'm going to sleep well tonight. Anyway, there you go. There's today's video. Um, I didn't really announce it, so um, surprise. Hope you guys liked this video. Um, did three... I mean, three big waterfalls and then there were a couple little tiny ones and some nice creeks and stuff. But overall, I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did too. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment. Any critiques that you have, I will accept it positive and negative. Just go for it. If there's any gear you think I should get on, let me know. And uh, as always, remember to stay in the great outdoors and we will see you all later.